Hi everyone, I'm going to look at question 5 from the Compound Data 1 workshop. Um, so this question here asks you to draw a memory diagram for the array after the code is run. Um, so let's have a look at this step by step. So our first line here says that we want an integer array A, which, has, which is a new integer array with 5 spaces. Um, so I'll have my reference A, and it's going to be pointing to an array with five spaces for five integers. Okay, is that a bit bigger? Of course, that's a bit messy, um, but that's okay. Uh, so we've got nothing there yet, um, and we have this loop here that we know goes through each item in an array where i is representing um, each index in an array. Um, so we don't need to trace that too carefully. We know what it's doing. Um, we can just have a look at the first few and see the pattern. So a i is equal to i plus 1 times i plus 1. So for when i is 0, that is equal to 0 plus 1 times 0 plus 1, which is just 1 times 1, which is 1. And that's our first one there. Um, when i is equal to 1, so the next index, we've got a1 is equal to 1 plus 1 times 1 plus 1, 2 times 2, we get 4. Our next index is 2, so we've got array at index 2 is equal to 2 plus 1 times 2 plus 1, 3 times 3, which is 9. So we can start to see our pattern here. What it's doing is it's taking our index, adding 1 to it, and squaring it. So um, without tracing that, we can see for index 3, well, we're adding 1, so it's 4. 4 squared, 16. Index 4, we've got add 1 is 5, 5 squared is 25. And that's all you need to do for that question there. It's an easy one.